Welcome back everyone. So the Swamp Rabbits are hosting a big game tonight and if you're heading to the well, the hockey team is asking you to give back, help them give back. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli. She's live at the well in Greenville to explain. Good morning, Christine. Hey, you're having a lot of fun. Morning. Oh my gosh, we have so much going on this morning. Look, it's Friday. Celebrate. There's the first thing, viewers. We got to get you up in Adam. We're going live on the radio and TV. So check out Craig Debolt. He's going live on the radio right now. Isn't that neat? Uh, Jordan, isn't this cool? Jordan Coons, voice of the Swamp Rabbits here, modeling. Uh, fantastic jersey. Thank you for that. And a can. Hold that up. You're our Vanna White this morning. David's got cans too. David, a teacher. So tonight the cans are for Harvest Hope. If you bring cans, you get $5 off your ticket. Uh, David's a teacher. So if you bring your teacher ID, it's teacher appreciation night. You get $5 off your ticket. Are you going to come and do that? I, I'm going to do that. I wouldn't miss the chance. You know, the Swamp Rabbits, I think, support teachers in so many ways, supporting, of course, the community in general. But um, I think for kids, this is a really good thing to see people working together gather teamwork can you find lessons in something like a hockey game it is uh, i think uh, sports is one of those universal language that help connect uh, people of all ages and kids really get interested in sports so for the swamp rabbits to offer an event like this it helps support education and things like that they understand that they can come out they can see some teamwork uh, they get to experience a little bit of uh, hands-on education outside of the classroom and just really gets them engaged and you feel supported as a teacher i know not always maybe but Hopefully this helps. Definitely, you know, to know that, you know, you spend a lot of time with students each and every day. Uh -huh. So to have uh, support from outside organizations really help, you know, feel like you're not the only one in this. So community partners and things like that, it just creates, you know, a, a greater investment group from people all around. I appreciate that perspective, David. And hey, hey we got Stomper. Guys, it's Stomper's fourth birthday. It Woo. appears that he's received soup uh, as, a, as a gift, maybe first off. Uh, you could even donate your gift. Okay, there you go. He's going to give the soup. What a generous bunny. I mean, really, this rabbit? I'm telling you, great job. That's what we want people to do tonight. So we've got several of these big boxes. They have to fill all of these up. Bring a can. Craig, would you donate? Gonna Craig's going to show you how to do it. Yes, you just take the can. All you do. You put it in. Yeah. I just saved five dollars. Five dollars <laughs> has been saved, yeah. guys. Just like that. Is this not action in the first day in the morning? I think I can handle it. I think we can handle it. That was easy. That's what I want to <laughs> see perfect. you do. I didn't know that Sabina? Manwich was still alive. Manwich is still like, a man thing. Still a thing. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it yes, they teach that in school. Look at that. Right. Very good. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Christine, and I love Stomper. Oh, I'm in love. Oh, he's <laughs> dancing for you, Sabila. Back at you, Fred. <laughs> Well, Chris. <laughs> all right, thanks, Sabila. It is 614. The weather's dry right now, but that's going to be changing as all this rain down to the south works in our direction. I'll let you know when it's going to arrive and how long it's going to stick around coming up in just a few minutes. Also ahead on Carolina Morning, 